Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a rather late TBR video, but it's here. I'm going to be participating in the Animal Crossing Readathon. It's such a cute idea. I love it. I've been super excited for the Animal Crossing New Horizons game that's meant for the Switch. I'm ready for it. I actually never played it on GameCube. I didn't even realize it even existed until I moved in with my husband uh, when we were just still dating, not even engaged yet. And uh, he had it on, on the Wii and I fell in love with the game. And of course, every time I have access to a new game, I, have, I make sure to try to get access. So super excited for the new game and super excited for this readathon. Unlike the Oscars readathon where I pretty much kind of like read as I go, I actually have a plan here. Some basic info before we get started. Uh, the reading, reading, reading. The readathon is from March 9th to the 20th, so it ends on the day the game is released. And it was created by Ami from. Um, Book Life, and she's hosting this event along with Diana from Paperback Jedi and Tori from Medusa Reads. There are one, two, three, four, five, five reading prompts plus a bonus prompt. Let's get into the prompts. Rossetti, don't forget to save, read a book of your choice while using a bookmark. I feel like any of my books can cover this choice here. It all depends on when I stop reading and then throwing in a bookmark. I actually don't use bookmarks. I throw in whatever like convenient piece of paper I currently have. I'm gonna have to dig through my drawers and find a bookmark to really, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? I really inhabit this reading prompt. I have two choices for this. My first choice is one of the books. It's one of the two books that everyone here on BookTube's been talking about. It's uh, Crescent City by Sarah J. Moss. Oh, let's move that so you can actually see the cover. Uh, it's a beautiful book and pages are stunning but as you can see this is quite a hefty book and I don't know if I'm actually going to read it within a week. I put myself on the request list for this book like ages and ages ago. Uh, my library has this thing where you can actually start forming a line before the book is even published and so I, I'm actually one of the first people to get this book is how early I got in line and I don't remember what this is about. Now after reading this, this seems to be in my wheelhouse. Our main characters are Bryce and Hunt. Uh, Bryce had this great life and uh, a demon murdered her closer. Closer. Wow, I really can't talk in this video today. A demon murdered her friends and she's being accused of having done this. And uh, Hunt is our other main character. He's the fallen angel and uh, both Bryce and Hunt are actually investigating. All right, who actually did this? This big red lettering on the top here says bound by blood, tempted by desire, unleashed by destiny. So this tells me this is a fantasy romance, much like uh, Sarah J. Moss's other books. And if I don't finish this, which I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to, this is too big. And if, it, if I had it on audiobook, I might stand a chance, but we don't have it on audiobook in my library. So if I don't finish that this week, I also have this book here, Go With The Flow by Lily Williams and Carrie Schne uh, Schneeman. Uh, this is kind of like a juvenile graphic novel. Uh, it's a group of friends who start a revolution. Our main characters are Abby, Britt, Christine, and Sasha, and they're pretty fed up with their high school. Their high school never has enough tampons. Um, or pads or, or adults who will listen to their issues about female health. And they grow sick and tired when the administration places football over female health and so they, you know, hatch a plan. That's all I know about it. In fact, my um, colleague at the library, at the public library, excuse me, that I work at, she walked up to the circulation desk where I was currently manning and she's like, here you go, you need to read this. It's really good and it's really funny. I'm like, okay. Well, if a librarian tells you to read something, you should take that, you know, you, you should take that recommendation to heart. And this is also pretty hefty, so I feel like this is going to take uh, two to three sittings to actually get through. And I feel like I keep doing this where you can't see the cover. Is that helpful to you? I, I don't know. The next prompt, KK Slider, listen to an audiobook or read a book that has musical elements. I chose Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. I'm reading it for another challenge actually. And uh, to complete this challenge, I figured this other challenge, I figured it'd be easiest to get it on audiobook. 
Our main character is Charlotte Davis and she's 17 years old. So this is a YA novel and she's gone through some serious crap. Uh, she lost her best friend, she's lost her mom, and this is her like dealing with this loss. I'm getting the vibe that it's going to be a very sad book and if I don't cry at any point during this book, like I, I'm going to have to cry at least once. If I don't cry, I'm going to be very, I'm going to be very surprised. The next prompt, Able Sisters Read a Book with Strong Family Themes. And this was one that I was thinking about reading for the very first prompt, but I got indecisive. For this prompt, I have The Midwinter Witch by Molly Knox Ostertag. It is the third installment to the series. First one was Witch Boy. Uh, second one was, what was the second one? The Hidden Witch. Now we have The Midwinter Witch. This easily falls under like fa close family ties because this actually does focus on on a coven and um, not necessarily a coven. Like in this particular like culture, only the girls are witches and only the guys are werewolves, and those that has always been the way things were. And in the first book, our main character doesn't transform; he actually is a witch, and it was it focused on the family accepting this person just the way they are. And the books have since like continued on from that. I'm actually really excited to see how this series ends. The fourth prompt, Tom Nook, read a book that you have recently purchased or checked out of the library. And so far, every book that I've shown you, I've taken out of the library. I've either borrowed it digitally through an app through my library or I have it in physical format. So everything is from my library. So any of these can count towards this challenge. And the fifth challenge, Animal Crossing GameCube. Read a book that has been on your TBR the longest or reread an old favorite. And this is what I chose Girl in Pieces for. I actually got an arc of this book when I went to BEA when it was in Chicago in like 2017. Was it 2017? Probably 2016 at this point, maybe even earlier. It was the one and only time it wasn't in New York City. It was the very first time I went to um, BEA in BookCon. Actually, that year I only went to one day of BEA because it was honestly the, as much as I could afford to go for BEA. And I went with my friend Alex from The Breeding Puppet, so that was actually a really fun first time book event. But Girl in Pieces was one of the arcs I got, and it's been so long that I actually eventually just gave it away without reading it. I was like, oh, it's been published. If I want to read it, I'll just borrow it from my library. And if I love it, I will, I'll just buy it. Because this was an unsigned copy. And so I really wasn't all that interested in keeping this arc. So roughly five years after the fact, I'm going to try to finally read this book. Five years. Can you believe that? Five years. Now we have some bonus prompts. Now there's only one bonus prompt. I don't know why I made it sound like there were several of them. Uh, read one of the host choices. Uh, Diana from Paperback Jada picked Anya and the Dragon by Sophia uh, Pasternak. Ami from um, Book Life picked A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. And Tori from Medusa Reads picked The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. I just requested as I was film, well, prepping to film for this video, uh, the Tea Dragon Society. I feel like this one could actually also count for the Animal Crossing GameCube prompt, like read a book that's been on your TBR for ages. Because I actually remember uh, an old colleague of mine at the same library recommending the crap out of this book. And it's been so long, she's actually moved on to a different library. So I, I have so many books on my TBR and I'm sure you all can understand that some of these books have just been there for ages. So the books I'm going to be reading, or at least attempting to read, Crescent City, Go With The Flow, The Midwinter Witch, Girl In Pieces, and The Tea Dragon Society. Like I said, there's a very good chance I'm not going to get to Crescent City, but we're gonna try for it. So that's my TBR for this readathon. Let me know down below your thoughts on some of these. Obviously don't give any spoilers because I haven't read them yet. And let me know if you're also participating in this readathon. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I guess it's ta-ta for now. Bye guys.